big issues in government when I was there in the FBI is, um, is, is terrorism a law enforcement problem? Is it a military problem? Um, my students tend to try to um, bring them both together and say it's both, thinking that that gets them the better grade. But, um, but in fact, I think, I think that's, a, that's a, a valid point of discussion. I mean, is it, is it law enforcement? Is it military? Is it intelligence? Is it both? How do we bring those things together? One of the, the things about the 21st century that we used to wrestle with in the Futures Working Group was the, the whole notion of the blurring of boundaries between things. And, and, and you talked about uncertainty and that kind of thing. And uh, back years ago, I could tell you what a, what a terrorist group looked like. Um, I could tell you what a, an organized crime group looked like. Um, when I look at groups like the FARC down in South America, I have increasingly difficult times trying to, uh, to, to differentiate that in my mind. Is, is, is the 21st century, uh, is this just sort of the tip of the iceberg? Are we uh, heading into more areas of uncertainty? What do, you, what do you all think? I think one of the challenges in, in thinking about the law enforcement versus warfare, which paradigm are we in? I think one of the challenges that, that I have is thinking about the Cold War era, wh where we had a, a, a recognizable way of talking about warfare. Warfare involved the national survival, the actual threats to our existence as a country, perhaps the existence of the planet. And one of the challenges, I think, in talking about terrorism is we're left with that rhetoric. We're, we're left with the description of warfare as in, involving, are we going to exist in 50 years? Your point about some of the rhetoric being left over from, from the middle of the 20th century is a, is a great point, because I think those words and rhetoric that are out there get picked up as tools sort of in a way to, to, to help define future, future things like terrorism in a, in a new age and so forth. So. I like the way, Wilson, you were talking about that the different speakers will want to frame the question in different ways. My, my parents were both uh, poets and fiction writers, so I'm, I'm sensitive to the idea of, of story having great power. And, and if you think about the, the book, the movie, The Help, lots of people have, it's been the focus of intense criticism because it doesn't tell certain aspects of the civil rights era story, and yet it tells one story powerfully. And it seems to me that's the debate, is, is depending upon where you sit, you want different stories told. If you're the fiction writer, you want to tell the story of one particular community. If, if you're in the civil rights movement, if your perspective is national, you want to tell a very different story about those times. Mm -hmm.